If you want to know how to add audio to your designs and graphics in Canva, watch this video. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. In today's session, I'm going to walk you through how to take your graphics that you're creating in Canva. If you don't know how to use Canva, I have done other videos that are in the channel around that. So go check out my training on Canva. But if you already know how to use Canva and you want to know how to create really snazzy graphics that also have audio with them, I'm just going to take you through a very quick process to show you how you can do that. So uh, at this moment in time, I'm getting everything ready for the next um, Ripple Makers podcasts that are going out and we've got the promotion that goes out out alongside them. So every Monday and Friday, we have a new Ripple Makers uh, podcast interview that goes out where we're interviewing our Ripple Makers Mastermind members and our One Drop Movement community about what their oh fuck moments are in business. What have they gone through and, uh, and what advice would they give to anyone else that might be hitting that obstacle or coming up against that block? And so every week we uh, interview more people. And so um, I've got a, a new episode that's coming out in a couple of days. So I've just been going through and getting all the graphics ready for that. And I thought actually while I do it, you could also benefit from learning from it. So uh, so as you can see, I've created a whole bunch of graphics. Um, now I've got this one that is going out. So Jackie's, hers is going out this coming Friday at the point of me um, recording this for you. Uh, but Daniel's is going out on Monday. So I'm gonna get his ready to go. So as you can see, um, I've gone and got a little animation graphic and where you'll find that is if you go to um, elements you can go and type in something like sound bar and um, and find all kinds of graphics that have um, animation so you could have sound waves as you can see like this so that's a, an alternative version so I've just gone and, and animate I've gone and got one that's already animated so I don't have to animate it and all I can all I've done is just simply found it and then drag and drop it over the graphic that you're using so it doesn't matter what artwork you've got whether it's square or if you're doing something for Instagram and so you've got more of a portrait one doesn't matter um, all you need to do is go type in sound waves for example if you want Wanting to show uh, that there's sound in the um, the link to whatever it is you're driving them to go type that in and then go grab it you'll see if there's a little crown on it then it means you can only use it if you've got a pro account I do have a pro account but if you don't have a pro account you'll see that things like this they're free because they don't have a crown on so I've got a, I've created my graphic as I want it to be but now I want to add some sound to it so I what I've done is I went and created some audio files that I can then bring into the uh, the Canva graphic so it can play audio as well um, so what that will look like is let me just show you because I'm setting these all up for my VA to go now. So let's uh, show you an example of that. And I was asking questions, but nobody was giving me what I felt was the truth. And I nearly became very insular then. I just, yeah, put blinkers on and just head down, just carry on working. My mantra was always work hard, get recognized for what you do. <laughs> Please, that does not happen usually. Not. <laughs> but that was my instinct just keep on going keep on going so you see i've taken a snippet so i've got my audio file I can do uh, other videos on that. If you want me to create you a, a training on how to create those audio files, then uh, let me know. Put it in the comments so that I can show you how to do that as well. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to uh, assume that I've edited my audio. And by the way, um, you can animate it and put, add um, sound to it up to 30 seconds. So if you're gonna create something using Canva, using this sound by opportunity, then um, what you need to do is make sure that it's no more than 30 seconds. My advice would be, because it seems to cut things off pretty quickly, is if you make sure that you've always got one second. So for example, if the audio for this 
Now I've already um, imported my audio into here, but let's imagine that um, I'm going to go and grab an audio file right now. So episode 20, this is Daniel Woods one. This is the full episode, so I'm not going to pull the full thing into here, but I am going to edit little sound bites from his full interview. And once I've got them, all you do is drag and drop them. So you can see there it says drop to upload your file. So you literally go grab your audio file from wherever it is and you just drag and drop it in there. So I'm not gonna do that at this point in time because I'm showing you and demonstrating you how to do this. And I can do that as I say in another video. But for this one, all you've got to do, once you've dragged and dropped it in there, it will appear. So if you go to your uploads, it will then appear in your audio uploads, okay? So any images that you've imported into Canva will show here. Any videos you've imported in, they will show here. And any audios will show here. So let's imagine that, I'm, that I've already put Daniel's um, audio in here and I'm now gonna go drag and drop it. So I can see that this is a 10 second audio. Remember I said you always want to add one more second. So I'm gonna drag and drop that just as an example and you can play the audio effect so you can listen to it if you want to but because that's 11 seconds now what i need to do is go and uh, bring that down so i'm going to bring the the video down to 11 seconds so it's got 10 seconds to process and then a, an extra second on the end because it does finish very harshly so if you decide that you are going to um, have a 15 second video say you've got a 15 second clipping and you want to pull that in then you want to change that to 16 seconds if it's 28 seconds you want to change this bit here to 29 seconds but it won't go longer than 30 so you don't want your audio to be any more than 29 seconds otherwise it cuts it off very abruptly and it doesn't sound good it, it feels like it's unfinished so always make sure you've got no more than 29 seconds of uh, audio content to stream into there as you can see i went through i was making sure that everything was less than and this one here that was 30 seconds I actually went in and edited it and made sure that it was 29 I brought it down to 29 seconds so that I would be able to have that buffer uh, to make this 30 seconds now if you're going to use something like for um, Instagram for example then 50 seconds and 30 15 seconds and 30 seconds are the premium uh, times for you to create shorts and reels for example uh, whereas a minute you might use this for TikTok or this is good for as I'm sharing here little sound bites so you don't want to give the whole podcast away in a promo to the podcast you only want to give like a 30 second um, little snippet of what they can find inside so if you want to create snippets and you want to do it like that that's the way to do it you just go and edit your audio first if you want to know how to edit that audio uh, like I say put it in the comments below and I will um, do you a video on how you do that as well otherwise I'm going to assume you already know how to do that and I can't wait for you to share all of your graphics so go out there start um, making your um, graphics even more more engaging by adding sound to the graphics and um, I'll look forward to hearing how you got on make sure you let me know in the comments below if you've loved today's video please do hit that subscribe button make sure you're the first to receive any new tips and advice and tricks and tools things that I'm sharing I've got some great ideas of things that I'm going to be creating for you that are coming up so make sure you subscribe so you're the first to hear about them and if you want to take part in more of the stuff that we're doing and really get involved uh, go across to the how to build a brand group on Facebook where every single day I'm sharing new advice and strategies and tools and how to and all kinds of stuff into the group uh, and so you could be receiving those as well if you want to just stay here stay here subscribe and you'll hear from me here but if you do want to come and be a more active part of the community that I'm building with thousands of entrepreneurs in there already I come across to how to build a brand on Facebook I'll make sure that I put the links here for you and you can go straight across have an amazing day and go out there be that brand you wish to see in the world I'll see you in the next show